Set three tier list. Set three is here are the best cards in the game. And we're here to rank them in a tier list. S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, F tier. The content drop is here. Join the Discord if you're not already in it. Become a YouTube member today. Become a true business review supporter. Inside info, exclusive perks, blah, blah, blah. Jock Peterson's S tier, we're gonna just start off there. We're ranking these cards based on how good they play, meaning, you know, stats, user friendliness, uh, kind of feel with the card. Jock Peterson has a super smooth swing, which is why he's going in S tier. Attributes, the pie chart is insane. I don't wanna see anything that's not glowing yellow on the screen. And then also, in terms of difficulty, how do they play on All-Star and Hall of Fame? Factoring that in. And lastly, price. Now, price is gonna be hard with some of these guys, but not all of them. <laughs> Jock Peterson's first, S tier. I'm not joking, he's S tier. I'm pretty sure there wasn't there a 97 Jock Peterson Team Infinity to start of the year. That Jock Peterson might have been my favorite Team Infinity card all year long. I'm expecting this one to play exactly like it. Super smooth, glitchy swing. First righties, he's nuts. 125 clutch. Power versus lefties, and he's better versus lefties attributes wise than righties. But I know versus righties he's gonna rake. And the diamond defense is really solid too. He can play first base. This card is S tier in the first one of the video. Ellie De La Cruz. <sighs> I did a pack opening. Go check it out. <laughs> Shortstop, second base, third base. 99 arm strength. The ball, he walks the ball over to first base. It's true. 99 speed, 99 steel, 99 aggressiveness, 99 durability. He's Superman. 125 clutch. The hitting stats are there. 91 vision is a little, a little sus. Jocks is a little higher. 91 vision is not the best that you would like to see. Switch hitter, smooth swing. Hopefully he's not too tall. We'll have to check that out if you got 600k lying around. But 600k, that is pretty weird. Gonna have to knock it from top of S tier to top of A tier, just because of the price. Let's let's be a little more realistic. Let's get, let's get let's get that price closer to Mickey Mantle's 400K and call it a day. So that's Elliot Dela Cruz right there. Buck O'Neill. The content's been insane, guys. Like, the content's been insane. Buck O'Neill. We can't really guess at, at some of these guys' prices, but we will for some of them. First base, 99 fielding. I want him to be like being the elastic man. You throw a red throwing meter to the first baseman. I want him to keep his foot on the base. And if, if the throw's going over his head, I want him to like extend his arm to the moon and field that ball. That's what I expect from his 99 fielding. 95 drag bunt. Ooh, now we're talking. I'm putting him at the top of B tier. Uh, I think his price will definitely be one of the lower ones. Uh, so we're gonna put him top of B tier. John Donaldson. Slider, fastball, slur, forkball, sinker. Again, pitch mix really is really important. Slider and slur, solid, forkball, solid, sinker, solid, fastball. Show me outlier. Outlier one and outlier two. Outlier on the slider. This is gonna be really interesting. Now, don't look at the hitting stats for any of these guys. They're literally irrelevant to the DH for a reason. Uh, so we're only wrecking the hitting, or the pitching, I guess. We're only wrecking the pitching for guys like this. 99 VLO, 99 break. This guy looks good. We'll have to see his wind up and everything, but he looks good. Put him at the top of, let's put him at the bottom of A tier. We'll give him, we'll put him at the bottom of A tier for now. Satchel Page. Man, he is tight. Please don't start using him. His wind up is so annoying. Outlier, oh my God, 125 VLO. It might as well just be 125 VLO to be honest. Let's be real here. Satchel Page is gonna be so toxic to face. <laughs> <sighs> That's gonna stink. I don't, I don't want to face Satchel Page. He's S tier for sure. Well, his windup's pretty annoying. Do I put him in A tier? Do I put him in A tier so you guys don't use him? We'll keep him in S tier for now. Bottom of S tier. Marcus Simeon. Not the best, honestly. Not not the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. I think this is this is one of the XP reward path rewards. Solid for an XP reward path reward. 99 fielding. Uh. You know, he's going to be belly flopping, doing those dives at second base. 90, 90, I don't even know. 94 reactions, pretty good. Solid speed, max clutch. If you guys watch the stream, the SDS stream, they got Brian, that intern, uh, for SDS. He, he, apparently, he's obsessed with the clutch. So everyone's got max clutch now, pretty weird. 
Uh, but we'll give him top of B tier, I think. Not the best. Not the best I've ever seen. Sean Murphy, solid catcher. I'm not a huge fan of his stance. 99 arm strength. Uh, good luck stealing unless you have Elliott. I don't know. Nine, everyone has 99 speed now. 99 arm versus 99 speed. Let me know which one is more favor favorable. I mean, who, who's winning that matchup, basically? And he's got pretty good hitting stats. Speed, though, isn't great. Top of B tier, if you ask me. Better catchers available, especially Adley. Zach Allen, I'm putting him at the top of top of C tier. I, I, his player of the month card, a 98 overall. I didn't like it at all. His pitches didn't have that much movement. 80 V low, 80 control. Top of C tier for Zach Allen. Jonah Heim. <sighs> I mean, I don't know. Really good defense. Max clutch, which is going to be nice versus righties. But versus righties, and he's a switch hitter. But versus righties, he's not that good. And versus lefties, he has no power. I'm putting him at D tier, just because there's literally better catchers available. Yes, maybe he's a top of C tier type of guy, but in terms of catchers, D tier for sure. Mike Cameron. Now this is a guy, not much to complain about. Everything's at the top like it should be. I have no clue about this guy's swings. You can comment down below if, if it's smooth and buttery, or if it's, um, who's that one guy, dude? Is it Piazza, Gary Carter? Oh, if, it, if it's like Joe Morgan. If it's like Joe Morgan of years past when he's crowned on the plate, uh, and it's hard to hit with him. So Mike Cameron, we'll put him in uh, bottom of B tier. For, nah, 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 we'll put him middle of B tier, I think. Middle of B tier is fair, fair while we uh, assess how good he is. Juan Soto, you're telling me someone already made World Series? Wow. Juan Soto, diamond defense. Okay, that's solid. 99 durability, who cares? Max clutch, really good hitting stats. We know he's going to have a smooth swing. I like Juan Soto in the middle of A tier. Camille Duvall, I like him at the bottom of A tier. I liked his 95 overall card earlier in the year. His pitch mix, really weird, weird wind up, solid pitch mix. Outlier on the cutter. Yeah, yep, have fun throwing, have fun seeing a 101 cutter coming in with 99 Duvall. Uh, so this is definitely, and, and you can see his price is already pretty low. I'm putting this in A tier. Kyle Tucker, I've been using him in events and he's hitting 167. Uh, Maybe his you, you and also there, there's there's literally like an identical 99 overall Kyle Tucker from season one, which which I also used and I was pretty good with. Let's go. Let's check that out. Actually, I'm actually curious uh, why there's basically a duplicate. I'm pretty sure the set one one is this one's better. This this Kyle Tucker's 450. What's the difference? All right, he's going in F tier. I'm sorry, he's going in F tier. Uh, I'm not I'm not selling him or anything. I'm just just based on seeing that. I'm sorry You know people have to be an F tier and it's gonna have to be you Kyle I'm sorry. Uh, The other one might be S tier to be to be fair And then we got the 97s. I'm not really gonna rank these 97s unless you have any questions down below uh, There's definitely some 97s that are usable definitely captain cards as well But now I want to go through some of the collection rewards talk about 99 overalls. We'll go to the team affinity collection Here we go. Uh, we're not gonna rank those guys Shane McClanahan uh, we're gonna put him in D tier. Awful pitch mix. Uh, he's probably usable. You know, he, he's got solid quirks, I guess. Walks per nine, not that good. Control, not that good. Velo's not that good. Like I said, D tier. <clears throat> Luis Arias, again, there's a 98 overall version of this card. Uh, <laughs> not, not my favorite thing I've ever seen in my life. Putting it at bottom of C tier. Matt Olson, can't hurt, can't hit lefties to save him. Low vision. Uh, uh, kind of weird. If you have him in right field, have him with 57 arm strength. Putting him at the top of C tier. Jose Ramirez. His smooth swing might put him super high. Now, he can play a lot of places. Got a bunch of secondaries. Obviously a switch hitter. We're going to put him in the middle of A tier. Mm, we'll put him at the bottom of A tier. Bottom of A tier for now. Hitting attributes aren't the best in terms of contact left or power right. His vision's high though, which I like to see. His clutch isn't maxed out, which is kind of weird because I'm pretty sure in real life he's a super clutch hitter. But it is what it is. Put him at the bottom of A tier. 99 Corbin Carroll. We're gonna have. I'm super tempted to put him at F tier. Um, just because who's ever gonna 100% every single team affinity division to get this guy? Um, like, there's better outfielders. I, I might. Like, we're talking about. If we're incorporating price. The price of your sanity seems pretty high. I'm putting Corbin Carroll in F tier. In my rankings, he's F tier. 
in reality, he's S tier. Stats, S tier, every, everything he's S tier in, except for uh, the price of your sanity, putting him in F tier. Just how it has to be. And now you gotta make the decisions. Now we got the set three. The final cards to rank. The heavy hitter, set three is why the game is back to life. Breathe some life back into the game. Alexis Diaz. Fastball slider sinker. I'm hoping the fastball isn't flat. A lot of times with Edwin Diaz, he'd have a flat fastball. Pretty easy windup to see. Uh, no outlier, which you don't like to see at all. Pretty bad walks per nine and control. Bottom of B tier. Better relievers and better pitch mixes out there. Hilden Smith. Nobody cares about how he hits. It's not that good. Pitching wise though, 99 velo, 99 break. No quirks, come on. 12-6 curve, you're gonna have to bounce it. I don't know his wind up. Fastball, no outlier, kind of stinks. Change up, not really that great. Sinker slider, solid. He's got a good, solid pitch mix, not the best thing I've ever seen. Case per nine is low, which is kind of strange. Control is also low. Put him at the bottom of B tier. We're looking at greatness. Greatness is on the screen. 99 Jackie Robinson. The whole right side is at the same height. Everything's maxed out, except for power, which who cares about that? I'm going deep anyway. And you don't have to go deep when you're bunting. 99 drag bunt. You can play the whole infield. This fielding's insane. 99 speed, 99 steel. S tier. I'm talking top of S tier. He's one, two, he's, the, he's top three cards in the game right now in my eyes jackie robinson you heard it here no no no, no. Let, let's not let's not go that far there's, there's some pretty chipper jones babe ruth hank aaron there's some new there's some other good cards in the game but this jackie is definitely one two he's, he's my fit he's he's the guy i'm most excited to get in set three let's put it that way s tier for sure and then we go to these three dudes over here adley adley's gotta be s tier He's going to be a lot of people's catch. 99 fielding, 99 arm strength. It's like, um, you know when you're playing the grabby claw machines at the arcades and you're wondering why you don't win? I want people to have that same feeling. I want to be able to throw a changeup aiming at the very bottom of the earth. I want to throw it inside the earth's mantle. And I want Adley Rushman to go down there and block it. I want people to have that same sense as when they're playing that arcade game. This Adley Rushman is insane. Really good switch hitter. Insane hitting stats. The vision's there too, which I like to see. Speed, 63, it's solid. He'll probably be my choice. Acuna, everyone loves Acuna. Uh, for some reason, I'm not great with Acuna and Trout. I don't know why, I, maybe I just suck, but Acuna, really solid card right here. I, did I put him in S tier? S tier for sure. Acuna, people are gonna hate on me for not putting him in S tier. I'm gonna put him at the top, the very top of A tier. I understand how he's an S tier card for you guys. And I guarantee he'll take me deep maybe 50 times this season. But I'm putting him at the top of A tier for me. And Martin Tejigo, he can play starting pitcher, catcher, first base, second base, third base, shortstop. It's literally the Bugs Bunny episode where Bugs Bunny plays the entire field. Fastball, guess what? Outlier. Curveball, sinker, slurve, screwball. Slurve, screwball, and a fastball. The screwball is 81, the fastball is at 106. Sinker. He's got really good stats. This Martin Dehigo is a sleeper pick for sure. I don't know many people that are gonna take Martin Dehigo over these other guys. He also does have actual uh, like real life stats hitting wise too. He's a usable card hitting wise. Uh, not the best hitter because of the low contact, but if he has a runner on scoring position, definitely consider using him with 108 clutch and he'll field wherever you want really well. But pitcher wise, pretty solid too. I'm gonna put him uh, in top of A tier as well, behind Acuna. I think Acuna has got him edged out a little bit better, uh, maybe a lot better actually, but pitching wise, Dehigo is one of the best from set three for sure. And then lastly, Austin Riley, really good hitting stats, smooth swing, solid defensive stats. There's just better, I feel like there's better cards in the game. Uh, once you get to 190, it's nice that they added him, but I'm gonna put Austin Riley towards the bottom of A tier, just how it has to be. I think, did we get everyone? No, we did not get everyone. We gotta go to programs now for Shohei Otani. 98 overalls, no one really usable there. Any relievers? Nah. 99 overall, Shohei Otani. Hmm, where should I put him? 
Now, you would think, surely he's S tier. Surely Shohei Okani is S tier. Walks per 9, 73, control 84. Strange. A bunch of quirks I like to see. I don't even care about reading that much. He's got outlier on the fastball. You like to see that. Nasty pitch mix. Now, is the nasty pitch mix enough to make up for those suspicious walks per 9, home runs per 9, and control? Why is his home runs per 9 so bad? Hitting-wise... I mean, defensively and speed wise, he's good. Max clutch, which you like to see. Really strong power. 61 vision. He's batting with drunk goggles and the size of the PCI. It's like you're using a putter up at the plate. I don't know. I don't know what to think. Uh, to be determined. Offensively with Shohei Otani. I'm putting him at the very top of. I don't. He's in between S and A tier. He's S A tier. S slash A for Shohei Otani. I don't know. Obviously, he's pro he's probably the second. He's probably my second most excited card. Of <sighs> what are words? He's the card. He's the. Oh my goodness. He is the card that I am secondly most excited to grind for. I don't know if that's even English, but Shohei Otani and Jackie Robinson are the two cards I'm most excited for. But he's not going to be S tier until I get to use him a little bit. But definitely a lot of potential there. Content from Season 3. A lot of high-ranking cards. Not too many below C, D, or F tier. So a lot of good cards to grind for. So make sure you subscribe so you can get some stub-making methods. I got a bunch of stubs. You can see, you might, you might think that, oh, you only have 800k. No, you're wrong. I got investments everywhere that you guys don't even see. I think I have 75 of these guys that are worth 20k each. And then a bunch of roster update investments. So make sure you subscribe, join the Discord. Thanks for watching.